Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to my TSM for Noobs series. Today we're going to be talking about sniping. Now, sniping involves scanning the auction house for any really cheap items that have just been put on there, so you can quickly buy them out and resell them for a huge profit. This is the way in which many, many people make the majority of their gold. In fact, a lot of people have a second account just for sniping, which they leave on, go AFK, and check it every once in a while to see what it's come up with and what cheap items they can buy. I certainly did this on my EU account and it helped me make millions of gold. So in the description box below there are two links to two paste bins. The first paste bin link you are going to go into TSM features, custom price you're going to type min price, press enter and you're going to paste the first link into this box here. Secondly, you're going to go onto options. You're going to go to shopping. You're going to go down to sniper options and you're going to paste the second link here. You should also untick the below vendor sell price because that's just annoying. And you should preferably put a sound. I choose the cash register to let you know when it's found an item. Then all you have to do is open up the auction house, go to the shopping tab, go to the custom filter slash other searches and press start sniper. What this will do is scan the auction house for the latest items posted on your server and if any really really cheap deals are posted it will pop up here and give you the option to buy. Sometimes you'll get lucky and people won't know the price of an item so you just buy it and you can resell it for the proper price. Other times people might forget to put a zero when they're selling something. So instead of selling for 50,000 gold, they'll sell for 5,000 gold. So that's another really cool thing that can happen. It's a bit mean, maybe you should give it back to them, but it's probably their fault, so just buy it. <laughs> the only problem is some things can get really distorted so if someone's been posting a piece of transmog for 5 million gold on the auction house for the last month then they get bored and post it randomly for 5,000 gold then it will show up here as super super cheap and you'll be like oh no I have to buy it but in reality that transmog could have just been a random item that cost nothing so you, you need to make sure you mouse over whatever pops up check what the average price is what the average prices in the US or EU whatever you're on and check how long it takes to sell and then you have to make a sort of informed decision because if you just randomly go buying something that has a low market value it could be a great deal but if you're not thinking it could be a very bad decision some people have been known to actually trick sniper users by posting something for really really high prices for ages and then suddenly lowering it and the sniping users will just buy it out without thinking and the person selling will have ending up getting a really good deal just because the snipers aren't thinking properly depending on the time of day and how popular your server is it may take a while for any items to pop up so I definitely don't suggest sitting here and waiting I suggest putting on some Netflix or doing something else and just running this in the background or on another screen and waiting just like this look see the noise and this is an 885 item level so one of the new Nighthold pieces and it's being sold for 65k now that's not great because it usually sells for 77k market value and they're being distorted at the moment because Nighthold only just came out so that's another thing if I wasn't concentrating I'd have just bought this because oh it's it's a bit cheaper than the average but in reality it's probably not a great deal and it will take a while to sell and the average price will have probably gone down by then but yeah that's what happens if you really wanted it you'd press buy out you would then have to press buy out again and you've got it I'm not gonna do that because like I say I don't think it's a good deal there we go guys that's the sniper feature like I said on my EU account I actually had a separate account just running sniper the entire time 
paid for it with WoW tokens, with the money I made from Sniper, and I would make 100,000 gold a day on a good day. So it really is very profitable if you can afford the time or afford a new account to run it in the background. Alright, thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya.